Okay, yeah, this is kind of OP with an urban assault. How's it going guys? My name is Checker and welcome to today's video. We finally have the Tiger Assault Rifle, but is it any good? Spoilers, it's pretty good. <laughs> no, but seriously guys, let's just get into a review here. A very quick review showing you guys some gameplay and just kind of my overall thoughts of this weapon. So up first we have Assault Weapon, Precision Scoped Military, a scoped assault rifle with high headshot damage and excellent stability. Effective at long ranges, but difficult to use up close, and that is a perfect description for this weapon. Now as far as the perks go, this is where where things are a little bit different. They haven't done this in a while, but the perks on this weapon are, for the most part, not static. Meaning that all of the perks that you'll be getting when you buy this weapon will be random with the exception of the final and last perk. The final perk, getting 5 headshots in a row increases ranged weapon damage for 30% for 10 seconds, is going to be a static perk. Every single tiger will have that on there. There is no affliction damage, stunned, staggering, any of that. It is 5 headshots in a row. So just keep that in mind, this weapon is going to be focused around headshots and it is just extremely well built for that. I mean as you guys can see right now this thing is so incredibly stable. There is hardly any recoil whatsoever. This thing fires like a laser. There is like hardly any bloom to it. And to make things even better you are not burning through the ammo on this weapon. It's pretty conservative as far as ammo consumption goes. When we first saw the Tiger appear on Storm Shield 1's database it almost looked like a Death Stalker like weapon. But now that we've actually gotten our hands on this weapon it honestly feels like a full the automatic hunter killer with a scope. It's harder hitting than most other weapons, it's slower firing than most other weapons, but it just kind of, it just reminds me of the hunter killer. Except this time around you are not mashing that fire button because I mean it's a fully automatic weapon, you don't need to. That being said, you can still get shots off faster with the hunter killer, but honestly this just kind of makes things easier and it kind of, I don't know, I just like it better. And this weapon is kind of turning into my smasher killing weapon. This thing is so incredibly accurate, the recoil is so minimum, the headshot damage which is very, very good. I mean, this thing is just perfect for killing smashers, and it's not only just good for that. There's a lot of weapons in Save the World that are utterly and just way too specific. This weapon does not fall under those same circumstances. It's actually pretty good all around. You can use this weapon for normal husks. You aren't going to be hindered by it. You can even use this weapon up close and personal if you really need to. I wouldn't really recommend it, but I mean, obviously, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. So it's actually at least somewhat usable and can definitely get you by. Definitely Definitely get you out of those toughest situations. But other than that, guys, there's not really a whole lot else that I can think to say about this weapon. It's a dang good weapon. Like I said before, the perks on this weapon are mostly fluid. Every single one of them is fluid, except for the last perk, which of course is static. And with the perk Recombobulator, you can now make this weapon pretty much what you want. It can be a nature weapon, it can be a fire weapon, it can be a water weapon, it can be a physical weapon. You know, I myself am going to be making this a water weapon just because it always seems like in higher levels there's a lot more fire enemies. But in conclusion, buy this weapon. It is definitely, definitely worth it. It has probably been the most worth it weapon since we've seen the Hydra, in my opinion. Speaking of opinions, though, what do you think of this weapon? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Does it look cool? Do you think you'll pick it up? Let me know down below. But thanks, guys, for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.